It's a huge weekend this weekend, Lyndall. Yeah, King's Coronation's happening tomorrow. Mm. Does anyone care? I assume some people do. You nor I really give a shit. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and to make sure we try and tap into someone that does, we have, of course, our unofficial go-to UK correspondent. Yeah. Oh, it's them two again. It's them again. I thought we got rid of them. No, mate, you no. Can't. You can't get rid of us, especially when it's the King's coronation. I know. It's been like a week-long party. Great. <laughs> we only got to bed an hour ago and you just woke us up. Oh, Sorry. Wow. On? Okay, so so you're just looking at it as, a, as an excuse to celebrate and have a party? Yeah. Okay. You know, who cares who's on the throne? How do you feel, though, genuinely, <sighs> Albert? Are you excited as a... Uh, a Brit that you're going to have a brand new king. I mean, it's been a, a long reign mm. by a queen. Is it kind of exciting to have a king yeah. back on the throne? Yeah, I, I think it is. I, I, I think, obviously, if you're my age as well, you, you probably have grown up with, with the queen, basically, because yeah. she was 90 when she passed. So, you know, a bit of a change. It is a, it is a, a bit weird thing of the national anthem with king instead of queen. But I think people are getting used to it now. And, you know, like I say, he's done an apprenticeship for 70 years. Good to see all the flags along the streets. There's street parties everywhere. There's love in the air. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. (laughs) It kind of makes me wish I was there, to be honest. Well, you can watch it on telly, like every single network from about 5 o'clock onwards tomorrow. Okay, no one call me, please. I'm going to be busy watching that. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, you you enjoy the celebrations, mate. Enjoy the coronation. And uh, we'll wake you up again soon. All right, love you. Love you too. I love you too. Bye, Bye. mate. Teddy, <laughs> Maria, go back to bed. <laughs>